Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this week's Teach Me Tuesdays, this is episode 134, and we have a new kit that started the other day, so I'm going to play with that, as well as a stamp set that Lori asked for, and that's the Rays of Light. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to um, play with both today, because um they're both super cute and i love the card that i did that combined the kit with the stamp set and i love the new kits that are coming out usually a new one each month they're a little different than the paper pumpkin ones paper pumpkin is a subscription and you don't know what you're going to get um sometimes stampin up will give you like a little sneak like we know the august one is going to be sunflowers so we know that but the kits that come out um usually like i said once a month you know what you're getting so i love that and then they're available while supplies last so as a demonstrator i like that as well because i'm able to kind of promote them and when you like them i can say oh here go to my store and and you can get that um where the paper pumpkin is a little different it's almost like uh christmas every month you just don't know what you're going to get and um and then sometimes they have refills, sometimes they don't. So I kind of like to know what I'm getting. So the monthly kits, um, and I think they're just the kits collection, they're kind of calling them. Um, that's the kind of ones that I'm I'm gravitating toward. So um, that's, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to, um, hi, Gloria and Susie and Charlotte's here too. So that's what I'm going to show today. All right, so let me um, flip the camera, put my hand there so you don't get seasick while I get myself situated here. All right, sometimes putting my hand close is good, and then sometimes it messes up with the, um, with the focusing. All right, so let's, let's see. All right, host code for July. Here is the host code. I will just set it over here it'll probably get in the way um if you are placing an order please use that code if you are ordering less than 150. all right so this is the new kit and it's called the best remedy it's so adorable it's got the fun little skunk and it has some great little pieces that go with it as well as some um cute <clears throat> greetings and it is in the United States 23 before tax and shipping. So that's a great, great um, value. All right, so let me put that aside. It comes in the cute little box. So you can reuse the box or whatever. I have been just emptying them and putting them aside until I see what I want to <clears throat> do with them. So let me show you what comes in. Now, I have pulled stuff apart. So you have the little piece of paper where your little flags and stuff are going to <clears throat> come from. It is photopolymer. So the kits are always photopolymer. And here it is. It's a great size for coloring. You have your little block. So if you are new to stamping, this is all inclusive. So you have everything need. Hi, Ann and Mary. It comes with the starry sky spot. But you know, I always say I always use my big stamp, you know, my big, my big pad. So I will be using that today. All right. It also comes with bling. So you've got some really cute um, sequins and these really fun little yellow daisy flowers you have your glue dots but you know me i use my spool and you have dimensionals all right then you have your instruction all right so that's everything in the box you have your instruction sheet. So what I usually do is I usually get everything pulled out that goes together. So when you're looking through the sheet, it explains that, you know, what you need for each card. You're doing three of each. And it just makes it go a lot faster. And then I usually stamp all my greetings as well. All right. 
So let's start with card number one. And it is a photopolymer, so we're going to use our little foam mat to stamp on. This just gives you a little bit more um, cushioning. The photopolymer um, mount right onto the block, and there's no foam like the um, red rubber ones have that foam underneath, which gives you that little bit of gushiness. The photopolymers don't have that. So by you stamping on the little foam, um, mat it just gives you that extra little squishiness that you need sometimes you don't need it but i just um, try to grab it um when i'm doing it all right so let's start with the first card so i'm just going to do one of each and then we'll do the fun little one that i did in addition with the rays of light stamp set all right so we have all of these little pieces and look how cute doesn't this look like um like you're going to have a picnic with that with the um your little mat and the around that's what it kind of reminds me of all right so we have our tiny little thing here and we have our fun little skunk now you have a skunk um and a bird and a mouse that just pops and then you also have a skunk that you can stamp. And I'm going to stamp a skunk for the other card. All right. So we need to put on here even, where's my greeting? Even though this stinks. That's what we're going to stamp on the heart. So I'm so glad you're all here. So we have um, Lori's here and Carol and Kat. Hello, welcome, welcome. All right, so yes, so Lori, I think it was you, right? Uh, yes, I wrote it down on my calendar. All right, so I'm going to use that rays of light. But first, we're going to make a couple of the um, new kit cards. All right, so we're going to go, even though this stinks, it's going to stamp right on the heart. Then I want, I'm here for you. Is that I'm here for you? Nope. Now, that's one thing about the photopolymer. You have to, like, turn them over and look at them because when they're all sitting on the disc, it's hard to tell which one says what. All right, so I'm going, I'm here for you. Let me stand up. Let's see. All right. So let those dry for a second before I start messing with them too much the the um the cardstock that comes in the kits is a little different it is our colors but it's not the same cardstock that if you order from the catalog um to me it takes it just a little bit longer to dry for it to like sink in to that paper so just keep that in mind a lot of times if i'm doing all the cards i get all the stamping down ahead of time and then it's, it's just assemble time later all right, but I'm just doing one card each, so I'm just going to do each card individually. All right, so we want our glue dots. Again, it does come with the glue dots, but I'm just using my spool of them. Oh, you are so welcome. If anyone else ever wants me to show something, just let me know. Sometimes you'll ask for something, and I have already done it, and then I just reference you back to um, a past video or a blog post or something. All right, so now we have our cute little skunk and our dimensional. So these are the ones that come in the kit. And I think the ones that come in the kit have a little, they're almost a little thicker. And they, to me, they are a little more squishier than, one, than the ones in the catalog. All right, so now we have our cute little skunk. So she's going to go on here. So this is a great kit. I think this would be a great kit for kids. All right. Now I do need to trim one of these in half. I think it would be a super one for kids to do. So we're going to put one on this side. And we're going to put a glue dot on the other side. And that's the one that's going to be resting on the skunk. Did I peel that off? No, I didn't. All right. So now we go here for you. 
So this one has the height and this just sticks it to the skunk. All right, but you don't wanna put dimensionals on both because this would be way high up if you did that. All right, so now we're just gonna take our embellishments and I'm just using the pick tool. So we want here, flower, these flowers are so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we want, let's see, another flower here. And when you look at them in a certain light, they're kind of iridescent -y. They look like a color. Like when I'm looking at my finished card off to the side, these don't look yellow. When, but when you hold them a certain way, they change, they change color. All right, so there's the first one. Was that not easy? Was that not so, so stink, stinking easy? Stinking skunk easy. All right, and then they have the fun little um, envelope. So you know this envelope goes with this because it has the same pattern there. All right, so that's one. All right, so let's get to the second card. And this is the cute little mouse one. I'm just putting them off to the side so I can remember what I did. All right. So these are the pieces we need for the mouse. So I just have them all ready in their envelope just to kind of speed it up since I'm going to be doing four cards today. I love this paper. Now, if you want to make this, um, this set go further in regards to this paper, you could turn it over and, and trim it you know, and then you could mount it on different paper. I'm just doing it like it's said to do. All right, so we've got our glue dots on the back of this. And I love this because it has this, um, it's embossed. So can you see all the, the swirls on there? So I love that. So you've got that pretty design on your paper. Then you have some cute polka dotted paper as well. So again, we're just gonna use our glue dots. I'm almost done with them. All right. Now this is probably a roll. Yep, this roll has them on the opposite side. All right. So this just goes across here like that. So I'm trying to be as straight as I can with the camera in the way. All right, so we have our cute little stripe. And then we have this adorable little mouse. Is she not the cutest thing in the world? She is so stinking cute. Now, if she was a real life mouse, I might not say that. But like if one went across my desk or something, I probably would not go, oh, aren't you the cutest thing in the world? I probably would pee my pants and scream. All right, so here we go with our cute little fake mouse holding the ice cream. So she's going to go right here. And I should have stamped the greeting. Should have stamped the greeting first. All right. So this ice cream is the best remedy. Is that the right one? Yes. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. So that's the greeting to go on here. So while that's drying really good, I'll just put some bling on my card just so that I can give that a second to dry. All right, so let's bring our bling over. And we are just gonna use um, the sequins this time. And if you don't have a pick tool, make sure you grab a pick tool. Hang on a minute. I have a flower that has jumped onto my card. All right. So these come off this plastic really easy. I'm almost thinking that they put, they stuck them on the wrong side of the plastic. Because they just come off really, really nice and easy. All right, so there is that. So let's put our greeting right here. So I'm going to put two dimensionals off to the side. So is this not the cutest kit? And so quick. All right, let me make sure I didn't flip this the wrong way. All right, so we want two here. So this would be a great one. You could even take to work. If you had like a break room at work, 
This would be a super one that you could make with your friends during lunch. All right. And then you would have all these cards because they're all kind of like um, like someone's not feeling well or sorry. So these would be a great one to um, have at work. And then somebody could keep them at their desk. And then when somebody wasn't feeling well or you needed some um, sort of remedy or get well or or thinking of you kind of card, then you could always go, hey, 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 Lori, can we all sign one of those cards? So that would be a great um, use for this kit. Hi, Brenton. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Um, so anyway, so there is card two. So cute. All right. And then that goes in this envelope because it's got the the polka dotted yellow. Now that doesn't mean you don't you can you can't put it in the other envelope. I'm just you know having it go with with the one that I believe that it should go to. All right, so now we have card three. And this is the cute little bird. All right, so let's stamp our greeting. So we're gonna put our greeting on here. Now this one says, did I pick up the right one? I did. A little birdie told me you were under the weather. Exactly, who doesn't need get well cards? And a lot of times I'll get a kit and I will send it to Eric's work for the secretaries in the office. I just sent them the Nourish and Flourish. And then they can make them and, and everybody at work can use them. And it's just fun to do. All right, so we have a little birdie told me you were under the weather. So we'll set that over there. All right, then we have our card base. And then we've got our piece of the starry sky blue and see this even has an embossing see that how that sticks out so that's going to go off to the side here and it's just so cute the little bird has got like a ice pack on their head and she's wearing a cute little bathrobe <laughs> it's so cute all right, so now I have, I have messed with the focus because I went up too high, come down, and focus. There we go. All right, I confuse the camera. Are you close or far? All right, so that's just going to go there. Super easy. Then we have some, this is just like a gran granny apple green kind of color. So that's going to go on there. my blue dots all right and then even it tells you where to put the glue dots on the instructions which is kind of cool and if you use glue dot dimensionals but sometimes it's hard to tell if it's sticking out or not all right now we're going to put this here and this is what our little cute little bird is going to go on and she has dimensionals as well but I'm going to put my greeting on first because if I put her on first oh, let me poke that out if I put her on first I might not I might think she's straight but then when I put my greeting and I try to match her feet then I'll definitely know if I was crooked or not so to me it was easier to put my greeting on first because then I could use this as my guide and then I will use this as a guide for my little bird. Thanks for sharing, Dawn. All right, oh, but you could just drop it right on there. All right, so this way I can eyeball that this is straight by using this green thing right here. And that way, when I put my little chick on, it'll be straight. All right, that's just kind of a little, I like to say anal. You know, some people say per perfectionist, but I am not perfectionist. I think I'm just anal. All right, so there we have our cute little bird. And then we're going to put our bling a bling a bling. So we've got a big one, a 
couple little ones. Now you can use whatever you want. You just want to make sure. I would make at least one card the way it's supposed to be, and then you can mix and match. That way, if you all of a sudden you use all the flowers and then you need them for another card, at least you have one that was, you know, the right way. And then you've got this envelope goes with this. This just give, has the look of this, but you know that that goes with that. All right. That is the three different cards and you will do three of each. So it makes nine total. All right, so let me close this. And now we're going to play around with the little skunk and some more pieces that came with the set. All right, hang on a minute. Dimensional backings for days. All right. So now what I'm going to be using is, all right, so this is my card that we're using the stamp set because just because you're, you're done making the, the cards from the kit, you still have this really cute set to make other cards with. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be using the Rays of Light. Lori wanted to see this. Oh, Teresa, about the kit. It is so cute. It just came out. So there still should be plenty there. It just came out July the 6th. Um, and I would say just get one, right? And you could always decide like, oh, you know what? I would love to give this to so-and-so. This would be a great, if you know a nurse, um, a teacher. I'm just trying to think of some people that wouldn't mind having this kit. Um, just, just anybody in general. Okay, so rays of light. And I'm also using Amazing Phrasing. And this is one of the celebration items that's in the mini catalog, or not a mini, the mini catalog, but the uh, celebration brochure. So in order to get this, you need to spend 100 because it is full. Like it, ha it takes both sides. Like usually I trip this down and put it on this side, but I can't because it's like, it's practically like two stamp sets. So it's got so many cute sayings and um, and the font is, is stinking cute. So I'm gonna use that. And all right, so I already said rays of light. All right, so let's see here. So this is what I'm using. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use in regards to um, the ray. So I played around. This was with um, Mango Melody. This was Fresh Freesia. And then I ended up going with Parakeet Party. But I kept these. I'm just going to keep these with the stamp set. And then I'll have those two ready to go whenever, whenever I'm ready. So the colors I'm using is Parakeet Party, Basic Black, and Basic White. I'm also going to be using the tailor made tags and the bling I'm going to be using are the in color 2022 to 2024 in color matte decorative dots. All right. So how much stuff do I have on my desk here? All right. Now let me show you what, how I use the background um, stamp. So I need to take one of these off of here. Now, this is just how I do it. It doesn't mean it's the right way or the wrong way. Now, I did ahead of time. I did stamp my cute little skunk with the memento. So we use good and dry. And because I am going to use the blends. So if you are new to my channel, when you're going to use the blends, you want to use the memento ink. So I just stamped a little cute little skunk ahead of time with the memento. All right, so this is the background. This is going to go on the inside, get my pieces all ready. All right, so here is this amazing background stamp. So this is how I ink them up. I leave it laying down on my table. We're going to take the parakeet, and we're just inking it up. And I love that this is kind of um, rough looking, like it's not solid rays. They've got like marks in them. I love that about this. So it gives it kind of a rugged. And then 
you're not like totally like, oh my gosh, I can't get my rays solid because they're not supposed to be solid. All right, so there's our parakeet. And then what I do is I lay my card on here. Then I take my seal and I put a little bit of seal here. Then I take my grid sheet and then I rub. And this way, you're going to get a nice impression because it's a big stamp. It's a lot bigger than normal. And then it just gives you, you know, you're, you're able to hold and rub. And then just carefully lift this up and it will come off the stamp and it's awesomely beautiful. All right, then we'll just wash this later. All right. And then what you want to do, you just want to just kind of go like this. See, I kind of twisted it so it twists off that seal. All right. So then we're just going to glue it to our basic black. And I just put a tiny, tiny little... It is super easy. I just put a tiny, tiny little border. I love the basic black and the parakeet. I love basic black with anything. It always just makes that color pop. But I don't know. Just, just that sharp green color with the black is just so, so cool. All right. So let me stamp this as well. And the inside. All right. Give my little mat back and then I can put the stamp pad away and start coloring our cute little skunk. All right, so I want to stamp my oops and I'm using Tahitian Tide. This is another one of the new in colors and Tahitian and Parakeet go gorgeous together. And I have in this little book, I have, I have had this book, I don't know how long, and it's just kind of like one of these leather bound or whatever. And I just kind of stick things here. Well, I have color combos. So sometimes when I'm putting cardstock away from like a class or whatever, I'll go, well, those colors look cool together. So then I just quickly make up, you know, like a little color combo thing. And I just, it's just like really, really kind of rugged. But so anyways, so, so I just open up my book and I go, well, parakeet, Tahitian, polished pink and black. I love that combination. So that's what I ended up going with. All right. So that was just something to show you how I have that in there. And then I just punch the little circles out of the cardstock and then I have it as a reference. Okay, so we want oops. So we're going oops with our Tahitian. So oops. Okay, and then I want my parakeet, and I want, well, that stinks. All right, so, well, that stinks. I love my greetings in photopolymer because I can see right through them for lining it up. All right, so, well, that stinks. Okay, cute, cute. Then the inside of the card is going to be, which greeting did I use? Excuse my arm. Okay, ice cream is the rest, best remedy. All right, so I used that, didn't I? Um, I used that already. So I need to wash it, remember? Because I used this with the starry sky. So it's always a good idea to wash your stamps as soon as you're done. Because then you know it's clean. But all right, so now we're going to go Tahitian Tide. Tahitian. All right. So ice cream is the best remedy for this. I want my memento. And there's the cutest little ice cream container. So I'm just going to stamp that off to the side so it can be drying good. I also want to take a piece of scrap. I always have scrap on my table. 
just for this chance that I forgot. I needed scrap. All right. I also want a little tiny ice cream cone. All right. So now I can start to color our fun little skunk because all our pieces are ready to go. All right. And then hopefully I don't lose them. All right. Hang on a second. So we've got our skunk and our ice creams. So let's color them and then we can put our card together. All right. So we have our cute little skunk and our ice creams. Now, our skunk, he's got a white tail and that thing on the top of his head is white as well. But I don't want to just ignore them. So what I'm going to do is I took, this is just a one of the blocks, you know, just the block that you put your stamp on. And I call this my shadow block. I just glued a piece of white paper underneath there that I type shadow block on. And this is what I use if I want a color that we don't necessarily have as a blend. So what I did was I took my, I'm like getting my markers out. Light smoke, here we go. Our dark smoky slate. And what I did was I just scribbled it on my block. So this is my smoky slate. And then I'm gonna take, this is the color lifter, but this is the one I use to move color around from my block to the cardstock. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the lid off and this basically is just gonna be like a paintbrush. So I'm gonna take this over here and I'm gonna pick up some of that dark smoky slate and then I'm going to color where I want this to be white, but it's going to be a lot lighter because I'm just basically using my color lifter as a paintbrush and it moves that color over. And now the skunk has got white-ish tail and belly and his head, but it is so soft and so subtle that it's, you can still tell you colored it. It's not like you ignored it. If I did gray granite, let's show you. Let's do light gray granite. Cause some people will go, why don't you just use light gray granite? So if I did, did light gray granite, this is light gray granite. So see, his this white area would have been too dark. So it would have just looked gray. So I just wanted to give that white area a little bit of color. And that's where that comes handy. Okay. And I just always keep this one. I just marked with a Sharpie. So I know this is the one that I use um, to move color around. I have one that's not marked. And this is the one that I use for boo-boos. Because the color lifter basically is if you make a mistake, you can, um, you know, put your color lifter on there and it will lighten up the color. It will move. It will, um, if you go out of the line, you can um, move it around. All right. So anyway, so let's go back to the card. Sorry about that. I had to teach you a little something that maybe you didn't know. All right. So let's go to our cute little skunk. All right, so we want light gray granite and a dark gray granite because I want his nose to be a little bit different color than the rest of his body. So I'm just going to use the gray granite. All right now, I don't know if that's a different color, but it, but um, so I hope I can always teach you something new each time, but I only have so much stuff in my noggin. All right, so this was a light gray granite, dark gray granite. And then the skunk itself will be light and dark smoky slate. So his body will be a little different color than his nose. All right, so we have to go light flirty flamingo. We always have to put cute little cheeks on our critters. So a little bit of flirty flamingo in the ear holes as well, and the little foot paws. All right, and then a little dark flirty. Just to, so there's a little bit of a different color just on the feet 
and the ear holes. I'm not going to do any, any more on the cheeks. All right, so now I want light smoky slate. And then we'll color in the rest of our cute little skunk. So this is light smoky slate. And I'm going right over that pink. So we might have to add a little bit more. And usually I wait to see how that color will settle as we're coloring. Because you can still see that pink under there. I just didn't want it to be like so pink. I want it to be subtle. So I usually just wait till the color's all the way dry. All right, so this is again, light smoky slate on our cute little skunk. Now we do have a basic black and it's so potent. I mean, it is so, so dark that I chose to use the smoky slate and gray granite on my skunk instead of the black. Because it is really, really dark. All right. And I still wanted to see, you know, the lines and everything. So I don't use the black very often. I use it a lot for flicking. And I showed flicking. You have to really be careful how you pronounce that yesterday. All right. Because it's a great one to, to flick speckles all over. All right, so now this is my dark, smoky. So I'm just going to put a little bit around the nose. Just to make that nose stand out a little bit. A little bit under here. Just where things would have kind of a shadow. So I'm not adding a whole lot. Just little dot, dot, dots. And then we can go back and soften those lines up with the light one. But when it's a cartoon kind of stamp, I don't worry too much about the lines, like, because it just makes it even more cute. If you look at, um, like, a cartoon person that draws, like, when they color, a lot of times there's that bold, bold line of the dark and the light. Like, they are not worrying about blending that color out. All right, so look how cute our little skunk is. Is she not so sweet? All right, so I'm gonna let her dry for a second and then we're gonna cut everything out. So while she's drying, let's color our ice cream. And this is, hey, Wendy. All right, so this is bronze and ivory. Now bronze and ivory come together and they've been around a while. So I'm just putting those two together for my cone and here as well. This is so small that I'm not going to worry too much about um, blending those colors. All right. So where is my light gray granite? There we go. But I do want to put a little shadow on the outside of my ice cream. So it pops off the page a little bit. All right. So let's go pool party for our ice cream container. So this is light pool party. And then dark. Just a little bit on the edges there. Pool party is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right. And then let's pick parakeet for this one so it matches our cardstock the outside cone i'm gonna pick um light polished pink because remember i said that that polished pink went so well with the parakeet the tahitian and the black so i totally had to get that on there somewhere so i thought you know what it's going to be my ice cream cone Right. So now let's get these cut out. So there's no dye or anything. So you just have to fussy cut. But they are not too hard to cut out. And I'm leaving just a little bit of a white line around there. If you don't like the white line, by all means you could cut right on the line. But I don't mind it sometimes having that, that 
line. And then we'll cut our little skunk out and then we can put the card together. So Lori, I wanna thank you for wanting to see the rays of light because it is so cute and it is just such a fun stamp to put behind anything. And at first I was almost gonna stamp it gray too because I thought, oh, would it be like the skunk is spraying? And so then I thought, well, if I do the green, then you can leave it up to the person's imagination who gets the card. They can either go, oh, is the skunk spraying the green or is it just a background? So it's really up to you. But if you ever got sprayed with a skunk, you might see green. All right, so I'm just color cutting out my skunk really, really quick. And as you see, when I'm cutting out, I squeeze with the scissors and I move the paper. And it's a lot easier than moving the scissors in your wrist. All right. So I'm just kind of going around because he's kind of hairy. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, almost done. And then we can put our card together. Cute. All right, so let's get our card together. So we have our parakeet party is our card base. One of my favorite greens. All right, so we want this on the outside. And it's a tiny, tiny little layer because I wanted a lot of this. All right, I also need to put this on the inside. This on the inside. Okay, so now we want our cute little skunk. We're going to give our skunk an ice cream cone to hang on to. And I'm just using glue dots on the back side of my ice cream. And I kept going back and forth. I'm like, do I have him drop the ice cream? So that the ice cream was actually down here, like, oh, you dropped it. But then I thought, well, no, I would let him hang on to it. So I'm just putting the ice cream between his hands. All right. Now I want my tag. So I'm going to, I used this. I wanted this to have the stitching, but I don't necessarily want to see the tag. So the skunk is just going to cover that. But I liked this shape and the stitching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dimensionals on this side of the skunk so that I can get my skunk on the side of the card because I do want to cover this up. Like I don't want to see that. It'd be funny like here, right? It was like, oh, that he's spraying, but I don't, you know, I'm just wanting to use the rays. All right, so we're going to put our skunk right there because then this is going to go back in here. All right, so we're going to put dimensionals on here. And I'm actually going to trim this just a bit so I can really stick it in there. Nobody is going to see this, so I'm just going to trim that right off. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's good, good. So then it allows me to push that in a little further. You are so welcome. So yeah, so anytime you want to see something and then if I don't have it, obviously, I would say, well, I don't have that. All right. But I did. I did have this. All right. So that is oops. Well, that stinks. All right, so that looks good. And then I usually just kind of give it a little touch. And if it wiggles, I can always stick more, but that's not going anywhere. All right, so we've got ice cream is the best remedy for this. Let's put our bling. Now the bling, again, is going to be the 2022-2024. And I want to use these ones. And these are the parakeet, um, the Tahitian, sorry, the Tahitian one, because I wanted them um, to go because I've used the Tahitian ink here. And I wanted them to pop off of the rays. So I'm just going to push them around and pick them up with my pick tool. So one, two. 
And these are kind of um, an ombre. Go on. So they kind of change. So see if you see like, like the whole packet of them. So see how there's like, it's kind of dark and then it goes lighter, 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 dark. So you've got kind of like an ombre of color. So I love that. So anyway, so like all your cards will be different, just depending on which ones you pick. All right, let me get that out of the way. I think, I think, I think. Let's get our gel pen and put little freckles on our side. I know we don't have a gel pen in the catalog, but I'm using one. And I'm just going to put some little speckles on my ice cream cone so it looks like there's little speckles or something. So here is our, oops, well, that stinks. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. So let me scoot that over. We'll bring the other cards over that I did. So these are the ones from the kit. So you do one, two, and three. So you do three of nine of those cards. And then this was just. The, the stamp set that comes with it, as well as the celebration set. And that's where the oops comes from. All right. So let's see if I have any questions before I say why you crack me up. Oh, I don't even know what I said. I have no filter. <laughs> so I know I love those dots so much. And I just thought that they would just add, add some cuteness. So here's the card I looked at before. I always have one off to the side, right? So they look look pretty darn close to being the same. So cute. So Lori, I'm going to pop this in the mail. So I think I have your address. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, because, oh, because are, are you doing the July class, Lori? I, I'll have to look. It's uh, on the other table. Because um, if you do, I have your address there. If not, email me, but I think I do. All right, so I am going to say see you later. Hold on a minute. See you later, alligator. Oh, too close. So anyways, ooh, up too high. You don't want to see my boobs. All right, so I'm glad that you like that. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, thanks, Gloria. Yay. Um, I just think that that, um, that background, you can use that like so many times because I, I want to do one with the moose. So I still think I might do another card with that rays and the moose, because that was in my head too. And then when I got my kid, I'm like, oh, I have to do it with the skunk. But in my head, I have this one um, with the moose that I think would look adorable. So we'll see, we will see. All right, so I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Make sure if you are new here, um, that you subscribe so that you don't miss when I go live. I will go, um, I have, uh, I usually go live, sometimes I pre-tape, but it's always three o'clock Arizona time, uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Friday. If you are a longtime viewer, I used to go Wednesdays and then I took that away. Um, so I just do three um, lives a week. So if there's ever anything you want me to show, just reach out to me um, and let me know. All right, so otherwise, have a great night, everyone. And I will see you Friday for my dye shorts, three o'clock Arizona time, same time same channel and have a great night. Bye for now.